Hello Scorpio. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. For those of you who are connecting with a person on a romantic level, whether this was a relationship, a situationship, a separation, the first person that comes to your mind romantically, this is what their feelings and emotions are for you currently. So this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. The parts that do, you can apply that to yourself. And the parts that don't, that is meant for somebody else at this time. Somebody probably that needs it more than you. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And I'm looking into the feelings and emotions of this individual. Things that they're not telling you that perhaps they would want to tell you. Or things that are they that they are just keeping inside of their heart and they're not really sharing. Hmm. A lot has happened in this connection. There's a lot of struggle. A lot of struggle here, I see. Hmm. Second chances. I'm happy to see that. Scorpio. You have here selfhood followed by crossroads. Then you have hearth and home, nourishment, awakening, relationship, grief, challenge, and then you have death and rebirth under the bottom of the deck. All right. So I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. Do keep in mind the roles are not reversed. However, because you do exchange energy, you may feel that this is reversed. My dear Scorpio, I see you now as a different person. Somebody who has moved on from me Somebody that does not need me anymore. Somebody who is free from the things that I used to say, the things that I used to do. You're more independent. You don't need me. This scares me. Because I felt as though I was in power when you would keep coming back to me over and over again. You would give your love to me so much. And for this reason now, because there's this distance, I do sense that you are moving on from me. Why does this scare me? Because I don't have any power over you anymore. A long time ago I did. I had influence over you, your emotions. But now I see you as somebody who is stronger. Somebody who is very independent. You don't need me. You are also defensive. You've gained courage. Now either you are really like this or you're just showing it off. I don't know, but this is how I see you. And it's difficult for me to approach you because I've never really dealt with you in this way. Things were different back then. I could approach you whenever I wanted to, but now it appears as though you're the one that's different. And it scares me. So much has happened in this connection and I have had a chance a lot of time to think things over, to think things through. And one thing I have realized, Scorpio, that it is time for me to finally make a move. 
it's time for me to take that action, to take that passage, to take and make that choice that I've been holding off, that I've been avoiding for so long. I've been procrastinating for so long. I have been ignoring it because I was not comfortable. It was out of my comfort zone. I didn't want to do anything. I knew that you would always be there for me. But, uh-oh. Shit. I see that you're moving on now. And because I see you moving on from me, I'm afraid that someone else is going to get to you. I don't want you to be anybody else's. I want you to be mine. I want every part of you to belong to me. That is what I desire. In you, I feel that you are my hearth and home wherever you are. That is where my home is, no matter where you are in the world. I feel this feeling of family, this feeling of content, happiness, joy. I could feel this energy between us that I can lay down my head on your lap and you just gently stroke my face and my hair and everything goes away, all the pain goes away because I feel you're like like family, as if I've known you from somewhere else, from before. You are that comfort. You are that home. You are like that warm nourishment that I receive whenever I'm cold, whenever I'm lost. You give this to me. And you change me from the inside. There are things that you have given to me that are very fulfilling. And I see now that you are the complete package. Someone who has it all. Someone who is not only physically with me in this connection, but with you now I've realized that you were and you are with me emotionally, spiritually, and physically. You now fit all these categories. And this is why I have to make a choice and I have to take a stand and make the right choice. I have come to this realization, this awakening moment. My mind is exploding. I've realized, oh my goodness, I want a connection with you, Scorpio. I want a relationship with you. I've come to the realization that you are somebody who I want in my life. I realize that, oh my goodness, I'm going to lose you. I see things from your perspective now. I see things from your eyes. Something I never really thought of before. I was never in that mindset before. But now I am. Is it too late? Is it too late? Because now I want a relationship with you. I see how you are with others and I like what I see and you're just so perfect. Many moons, many nights have gone by when I have stayed awake at night thinking about you, not being able to stop. And all I want is a long-term committed connection with you now because I know you're the one. And it hurts me. I grieve because we're no longer together. I feel like I've lost you. I've lost someone that I used to hold so close and now that shining star that used to be there, I feel like that star is fading and 
I'm trying to hold on to what still exists. I'm holding you as this bright star in the vast darkness in all of the universe. You are that one light that can make me or break me. I do feel a lot of guilt, sadness and melancholy and remorse over what I have said and done and the way I've behaved. I shouldn't have done the things that I did. I shouldn't have said things in that way. The actions never should have happened. I do feel bad about what I've done. And I feel like I've lost you forever. And this is why I grieve. Because I feel like I lost you forever. And because of these feelings, this is a bloody challenge. All of this is very challenging for me now because I do feel that this is a problem to which a solution can't be found. I don't think I'll ever be able to figure out this riddle, this problem that I've created. Only I can solve it. And I don't want to lose you, which is why I want to make this decision, to take this chance. I know that everything that happened before in the past was very rough, very mean, cruel. Going forward, all I want is better days ahead. I want to put to death all that happened before and to have a rebirth of something new. I want to have a second chance with you. Is it possible? Because now I see that you don't really need me. Is it too late? Because I do realize all I really want now is to be given a second chance, if it's possible. And if it's not, then this will always remain a challenge for me. But this is something that I want. Because you are very precious to me and I have come to the realization of that. Scorpio. Wow. I just, I don't know how shitty this person's been, but honestly, I just want to give him a hug. <laughs> this person, this fool, has really, really screwed things up. Oh my God. This person, holy smokes. What on earth is going on here? You have the crossroads card, you have the grief card. You have the challenge card, then you have like the death and rebirth. You know, this person really dug their own grave. They hammered their own foot. They really, like, they, they are the ones that made a mistake. They were the ones that did certain things. And now they are the one who, who is, this is the one who is repenting. So it's totally up to you guys. Totally up to you guys. I mean, has this person changed? I do see that. There are many cards here that are showing that this individual now is actually admiring you for the real you, for what really matters in a connection. This person wasn't like that before, but now because of this distance, they have started to change. All right, that was pretty intense, actually. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at that. We have another one here. Pop goes the weasel. Okay. Like, hello, people. Awakening. And you just had the card, Awakening. I don't know what it is with this particular um, upload Awakening, awakening. You just had that card, didn't you? You have desire, and before that, you had this one. 
just wanted to reconfirm that this person is having a realization. The Awakening card, Awakening card, two completely separate decks. All right. We have here Princess of Coins, Desire, and Awakening. Ooh. So this is something that they used to feel that caused the problems in the first place. So some of you might know what caused the problem, some of you might not. So I'm just going to explain to you what caused the problem in the first place. So we have here the Princess of Coins. So what happened was a lot of things were happening between the both of you, Scorpio, but this person was taking too much time thinking and not enough doing. They were waiting for either money, for opportunities, for a job. They were waiting for something to fall into place so that they could be with you. They had a lot of unrealistic planning. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's what this person... They may have made false promises and they kept doing that and doing that and it just kept breaking your heart because they never actually... Let's just say they led you on. They never fulfilled that promise that they may have made. Okay, the next card you have is Desire. Impatience. They were growing impatient with their own life that they were trying to settle down with the problems that were happening. Remember, this person was waiting for a few things. I honestly feel this person might have been in a transition, like a career transition. Maybe they were in school. Maybe they were going through a divorce. Maybe they were moving states or provinces because they wanted to, or regions I'm getting, um, because they wanted to move to a better location for a better life. Something happened here. This was not you, Scorpio. This was them. They were stuck in a situation that you probably didn't know about um, as in-depth. But this is what happened. They did have a desire for you a lot, but they were feeling really impatient with the situation that they had with you, they were also getting very edgy and impatient as to the situation that they had in their own life where they wanted to settle, they wanted to do something, but they were dependent on another circumstance. We have trapped by desires that they felt were unquenchable. My goodness. No matter how much they had of you, it still felt less inconvenient timing Scorpio this is a, this is it inconvenient timing my god I have been in a situation like that a few times one particular time a person was achieving like this person was actually creating an album um, and I didn't realize I met the person online but I didn't realize that they were literally in the middle of releasing this album but then you wonder, why are you saying that you're available to talk when you're not? I was waiting for seven months. I mean, waiting, right? And then a year went by. And then after the release, this person was busy. But what happened? Inconvenient timing. That's exactly what happened. This is exactly the problem some of you have faced where this person was in the middle of some type of transition and they were really, from the bottom of their heart, not able to give you the attention or the time or the effort because of the circumstances that they were in. This is what happened, Scorpio. Here they were disregarding the insensitivities to the things that were around them. They were being insensitive at some point, you know. They just kind of gave up. They were just pissed off with everything. Oh my God, this person must have been like, I've said oh my God so many times, I shouldn't say that. But let's say oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this person uh, was having a lot of, like, they were on edge. They may have been passive aggressive, they may have been short tempered, maybe picky, and this really started to annoy you as well. We have here awakening, of course we had this before. Um, however, here you see the Awakening card has the opposite meaning. Awakening. There was and there used to be an unwillingness to accept 
your affection. Oh boy. For some of you, yes, there may have been a problem with children. There may have been a problem with your children or their children. There may have been a problem of having children. A desire to have or not to have. There may have been a problem with this own person's childhood that is causing the problem now. Children is the key word here. There's something going on with children, childhood, a child, something. This person was creatively blocked by internal and external forces. This is not good because this shows that there were limitations that this person had. Because of this, Scorpio, they were refusing to grow. Now remember, this is all in the past. This person's no longer like this. But I'm just saying this so that you understand where the problem started from. That's where it started from. They were just really busy. And they had a lot of other problems that they probably did not want to share. You know, that's the problem, right? When you come home, you do ask someone, how was your day? And they just say, oh, I don't want to talk about it. However, we are told that we should ask, you know, how was your day, honey? Yes, it's good to talk about certain problems because two heads are better than one, right? You can talk problems through. Your partner, your friend, they are like a counselor. That's what the friend is for. So yes, it is important to talk, but it almost appears as if this person, they were sick and tired of their life and the situations and the circumstances that they were in at the time. They did not feel comfortable talking about anything. Okay, now what they want to do, this is plans, actions, or any intentions that they have. Now they want to move on. Six of Swords, they want to move on from the situation that they're in currently because they no longer like it. They feel like it's very stagnant. It's very stuck. And what they feel is a need to move forward and provide you with justice, making things right before they were not right. Now they want to make things right. Well, because Nine of Cups, they feel and they know you are their wish come true in this lifetime. Oh my goodness. Okay, this literally just fell on my lap in a very weird way. Queen of Cups, you have the Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, and you got the King of Pentacles. Wow. Oh my goodness, very nice. You have Nine of Cups. This person wants you, and you are their wish come true. Sensually, emotionally, they want you now. They are Six of Cups missing the good old days, missing the first time you guys ever met, missing the first time you exchanged love or emotion or something here. They are really, really missing those olden days, those sweet, innocent days when everything was just pure and new. They're missing it and they want to relive it. Somebody from your past, Scorpio, is going to come back into your life this person has a lot of nurturing, caring, unconditional love for you. This person wants to give you a solid connection. Along with the solid connection that exists here, they do want to give you... It's weird. I'm getting, I'm getting a word, two words. Permanent residence? Permanent residence. I guess this person wants to take care of you financially as well as take care of you in, in terms of, you know, moving in together, being together, making things more solid, uh, creating a family together. Yes, so this person has changed. There's a lot of things that have changed over time. All right, let's have a look at this card. This card deck rather okay so this is the goddess not goddess this is the ooh, okay this is the oracle deck by amy not amy i'm so lost right now sorry this card just fell out this is dorian virtues archangel answer cards these messages are being brought to you by archangel michael raphael and gabriel for your greater good what it is that's going to make your soul happy okay very very nice 
You're going to have an opportunity within the next few months. Oh, the next few months, people can even be a year from now. You have another timeline here. Okay, let's just all fall out. We have no. Okay, let's just clarify the no. No, choose a new direction. Okay, listen. In the meantime, it's important that you choose a new direction and that you focus on yourself because people, your health is not so great right now. Some of you have had a lot of issues regarding, I'm going to say it, tightness of the chest and anxiety, like stress. Um, some of you, and there's various different forms of depression. There's various grades and various levels. Holy smokes, people. This is serious. Choose a new direction. Look for signs. Look for red flags, okay? This is not only good signs, but this can also be negative signs. Um, for some of you, you can get the chakra checkup that I have. You have a ton of cards coming out. Usually I never take out these many cards. Let's just put this up here. Let me bring this little guy here if you guys can see that. Yep, yeah, you can. All right. Yeah, we still have time. So there's going to be an opportunity within the next few months, or it could be a year from now. It's important for you to choose a different kind of approach and method towards this person. The method includes letting go of this individual, because when you do, you will create that gap. They will miss you, and then they will want to chase after you. That's the strategy that the angels have. In the earthly world, we call this the no contact rule. <laughs> Here we have don't stop giving and receiving love. Keep that positivity going. With this card, Improving Health, um, some of you can purchase the Holy Light package from my website. This will get rid of negative energies as well as bring in positive energy into your life, which will make things easier for you to manifest. Ultimately, guys, there's going to be big and happy changes. This is not going to resonate for all of you. But many of you are going to go through a lot of changes here and your thought process, your minds, they're going to change when it comes to how to deal with this person because you haven't actually dealt with this person in this way before. But by choosing a new method, by choosing a new direction, that is important. These two that got extinguished, it's already been the amount of times this was not an omen. I'm talking about the candles. Choose a new direction. This is also, you have the same destination. The destination has not changed, but your route has changed. Your pathway has changed. Your road has changed. So take a different approach to the situation. Don't repeat the same thing because you're only getting the same result. Like the angels have said, let go. Focus on yourself, take care of yourself, because here we have some health-related problems. For some of you, get yourselves checked up. Just find out what's going on inside of you. Because um, it is, you know, I'm getting the word zen. Some people do need to just kind of relax and chill out and start doing a little bit of um, chakra therapy, which, of course, you guys can also have a look at the chakra checkup um, package that I have. I will also teach you how to do certain things. My method is different from the conventional yogis, the way they do it. I still use the same things that they have. I just do them in a different way. So it is not exactly the way you would do it as a typical yogi would teach you. Um, but this is just my method and apparently it works. Yay. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. I hope I was able to provide you guys with some clarity and some guidance. Do let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you once again for tuning in and supporting the channel. And I will see you guys again. All right then. Bye now.